moving on over to Port Bay, we have a battle in the Chieftain Mark VI, played by Olego. Right off the bat, it looks like he's going to start moving over to this uh, right flank, maybe put some pressure on medium tanks that might be crossing to go to the corner, or heavy tanks moving into position to the front lines. Um, but as of right now, people are kind of slow getting out of spawn here, as medium tanks don't appear to be going anywhere useful at the moment. Unfortunately, the Sheridan gets hit there already. With no support from his medium tanks, that Sheridan's game might end pretty quickly. Here's the 5 PTA. The Vickers is on the right, as we know so far. Looks like he's going to appear to try and get a sneaky shot maybe on this Vickers. But the Vickers gets into cover just in the nick of time, almost getting hit in the turret. He's going to turn his attention over to these heavy tanks on the left now because he has shot opportunities on this mouse. E5 and VK45. Puts one right into the cheek of the mouse right here. And the mouse is firing at a rock. Just gonna put a couple more shells into this mouse, and the mouse is not gonna be too happy about that, that's for sure. And that's gonna be the third shell he has put into the mouse, taking more than a third of his hit points away. First two minutes. Maybe even putting another one into his turret. Yep, okay, make that half of his hit points. Looks like he doesn't want... Maybe he can get a shot on this PTA, maybe... Nope. That's one thing the Chieftain Mark VI doesn't have, is gun depression off the rear because the engine sticks above the hull itself a little bit. Or, well, I guess the compartment for it. The Chieftain Mark VI has great gun depression at 10 degrees, a wonderful gun to utilize it with, and a decent turret armor, except for the cupola. You need to just keep moving that cupola so people don't hit that, because it's actually HGable in, in certain tanks. Your upper plate is actually quite good, your lower plate is horrible, because uh, that's where the ammo rack is stored. Your sides, you can't really side scrape in this at all, and the rear is also pretty garbage. If anyone didn't catch that, the mouse said, uh, reported chieftain, because the mouse doesn't know how to play its tank properly, and is getting punished for it. Puts one into the side of the VK, but the Leo returns fire. Looks like he is stuck, because that reload is quite quick, with a 200-ish alpha. We're currently at a 5 versus 7 situation, it's looking quite dull. And it looks like he's gonna try to put more shells maybe into this E5 and mouse. Although, due to the lack of gun depression, he's gonna go after this waffle with a nice HP shell for 513, bringing him down to a 2 shot. And it looks like the E5 tried to shoot him there, but no avail there. He's gonna go for a premium round into the side of this thing, but the waffle hits his gun. Forcing a shell to hit a little more to the left than where he would like it to go, I assume. It looks like he's going to turn his attention to this VK, maybe get a couple shots onto him. Bringing him down to a one-shot as well. And the motion clearing him, bringing it down to a 5 versus 6. Looks like this E5 is overextending himself a little bit. Although he is backing up at the moment. He's going to put, try to put one into his trap, but hits on the upper plate. And there goes the E5 again, thinking he might have the upper hand. Puts one into the track, although it didn't destroy the track, it did damage it. And then this is what I mean by the mouse doesn't know how to play his tank. Um, just because the Chieftain Mark VI fired is, yes, it does mean he's on reload, but the reload's quite quick in this tank, so don't just assume I have time to get the shot out. He's gonna put one into the side of the E5, finally taking that track out, and then here's the Mad Mousian coming in, or Mouse coming in, because he got hit a couple times from him. Lego's gonna clear the mouse there, bringing it down to a 5 versus 4. And there goes the mouse about downvoted in all this. Puts a nice little premium round into the upper plate of the E5. I think right into the viewport, actually. And it looks like he's gonna put another one into the same spot, it looks like. Now that the E5's one shot, he should be able to just rush this. Okay, bringing it down to a 4 versus 2. All of his teammates are one shots and two shots for the enemy, so he's got to watch out for that, and his team also has to watch out for that, because they have a chance at winning this still. Tries to put one into the Vickers, although the Vickers mantle is black holes, so it just ate that shell up like it was nothing. Looks like he's going to move on the right side, trying to maybe clear this PTA. Hopefully the shell rolls high. Looks like it will, because RNG Jesus is always on everyone's side. Unless you don't believe in RNG Jesus, of course. 
Sheridan puts a nice shell into the back of the Vickers there, or the front. I can't really tell which way he's facing from here. 54 is going to try to rush, but the Vickers has adrenaline, clearing him, bringing it down to a 3 versus 1. The Vickers is going to try to clear the Sheridan here because they're both one-shots, and he has a chance to do it. And the Vickers can't really two-shot, well, one-shot this Chieftain. I mean, he could possibly maybe ammo rack his lower plate or put some power shift in high release, but he decided to run. Olego gets the clear on him, ending the game. 7.2k damage, not bad at all, not bad at all. Props to the uh, players that did sub 1k in a tier 9 and 10 matchup, I don't know what to tell you there, allowing our, our hero here to get a, a lot of damage out. And uh, with that note, I'll make my lead. Like it's the end of the...